So here I just have a box and I've placed in it lots of different things, in my case, that are fitting with our theme. But you can pop anything inside it, obviously, that is baby safe and particularly that you know your little one enjoys. Now, depending on their age, we can either be taking things out of the box and showing them to baby, always narrating, which is great for language development, or obviously if they are old enough, you want to try and engage them with the activity by sitting there, having them try and open the box themselves and pull out things and just investigating anything that they're interested in, which is why it's really important that anything inside there is baby safe because we want them to then be able to take the lead on what they're enjoying. So shall we take a look at what's inside the box today? Yeah. As I said, doesn't matter that they can't reply. This is all about the language development that you are demonstrating for them. So as I said, we're gonna notice a bit of a theme here. What do I have in my box? So as you know, I just love sensory scarves and depending on baby's age, they can be used in so many different ways. So just in terms of texture and then enjoying that different texture and feel. As they get older, as long as they are baby safe, we can play peekaboo, peekaboo. My two year old, what she loves to do is pop it here and then we do ah, 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 choo, sneezing. Fantastic. What else have we got in here? These are some nice sensory balls that you've probably seen in my classes before. So they've got different textures for baby. But again, any ball, as long as it's baby safe, is absolutely fine. They might want to hold that. Lots of sensors around the mouth, so likely to want to explore it with their mouth. I've also got an instrument in here. Now my baby's a little bit young to grab this and actually do it for themselves, so it's just me demonstrating to them that noise that it makes. And obviously the great thing is we can use this in some of our different songs. I've got a finger puppet. These are always great for visual stimulation of baby, but as I said before, if you don't have them, then it's just amazing how interesting they'll find your hand. Yeah. And obviously, depending on their age, you can see it in my development handout, how far in front of their face they can see. But as they get older, you'll gradually be able to move that away. And they'll also start to reach out for things, which is really nice. I popped this in here because this is a really great idea as well. And I'm sure you all see them in the supermarket all the time. Nice clean one, obviously, but it's a shower sponge. And again, it's just a really nice thing to have a different texture. So the baby gets to experience that. And of course my favorite, some costume items. So you can either pop them on your head to demonstrate to baby, or you may have a couple. We can pop them on baby's head so they get that sensory experience as well. But whenever they're not comfortable, don't hesitate to take that off. And the very last thing I have in here, can you see what it is? What is it? Yeah, it's a book. It's a book. That's not my chick. And if you don't know these books, I really, really recommend them. They're really beautiful sensory books where each page, there's a different thing for baby to feel. So baby can just take a look through that and we can encourage them to feel the different textures. So here we have the fluffy wings and here we have fuzzy, Sorry, you can't see, can you? Here we have the nice smooth egg. Oh, here we have the rough feet. I don't like this one, but it is great for them to experience that different texture. And the nice fluffy chick, really nice. And so you just want to take a moment to let baby explore and enjoy with no rush anything that they're interested in. In actual fact, this can be a really great moment to do tummy time, which you want to be trying to do every day. 
And obviously baby, as they get older, will last longer and longer on their tummies. And in particular, if they've got things in front of them that they're particularly interested in. So let's take a moment now, just enjoy some music while we do some tummy time. <laughs> 